to borrow a line from one of the, uh, the articles in the research a number of years ago, my puzzle was, well, now I can see this working in practice. Does it make any sense in theory? <laughs> right. So that's, uh, in general, my, my paper is a, is a thought piece. It's based on reviewing the literature on high reliability organizations through the lens of what I know about how schools work from personal experience, from research on schools as organizations and on school change, uh, and trying to make sense out of what this might mean. Uh, I'll say at the beginning that I started out as a skeptic. Uh, I thought that the differences were just too great. And the more I read, the more convinced that I've become that this represents uh, a very interesting uh, perspective on how we think about leading change in, in school. What are high reliability organizations? What are we talking about here? The, the data on high reliability organizations essentially comes from a group of organizations that work whose, whose technology or circumstances are such that there are risks of catastrophic failures that failures make headlines, if you will. And that uh, for whatever reason, the, there has been, there's developed a public perception that we can't afford those failures and that organizations have been forced to develop organization and operating procedures that essentially avoid failures. The research on these organizations is a lot like research that all of you are familiar with in the, from the effective schools era. That people went out identified organizations that had long histories of successful operation despite high risk conditions and basically said, so what are these, what are they doing? You know, what are they doing that's different from the organizations that are experiencing failures? The second wave of the research then took those ideas, much like we did in the school effectiveness research, and said, well, if we've identified some characteristics of high reliability organizations, does that can we use those as a way of intervening to help other organizations improve? And so there's a second wave of data related to efforts to implement those, uh, those research in other situations. Mm -hmm.